He brought a tongue to everyone who tarried for the power. It was a Pentecost experience set down for you and me. Set down in love from God above to set all people free. The sound was loud to that great crowd, for heaven had transmitted the risen Christ from paradise on them while they were sitting. This got around and they were found by Jews from every nation. They all turned out to see them shout with the vain imagination. It was the Pentecost experience sent down for you and me. Sent down in love from God above to set all people Welcome to the Pentecost experience. I'm out here at the grave of my mother, Martha Clark. Many of you knew her. She was a nurse with Dr. Mayo here in town. She fought her la last bout with pain and death April 3rd of this year, past year, 1985. Wonderful mother and friend. There's one thing she does not regret now that she's in the bosom of Christ is that when she was 14 years old she yielded to the call of the Spirit of God and received the Pentecost experience. I want to tell you a little bit about her story. She was 14 and they were having a great revival down in a little country crossroads community called Rocky Cross, North Carolina. It's down in between Zebulon and Spring Hope, in the eastern part of the state. Having a great revival, and she heard the voice of God actually call her. It scared her. She was 14, as I said. And she heard this voice called Martha. Martha. Twice. Well, three days after that, she was seeking the Lord. She knew what it was. There were already a score of people or more who had been baptized with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. And that one little community in that same great revival all totaled, she told me once, there were about 37. Now that's a, that's a pretty big number, of course, a very small community. On the third day, it was a Sunday, she received the baptism of the Holy Ghost by herself at the old home place that I'll show you shortly. Went on up, to up the hill to the house where the saints were gathered that Sunday afternoon. And my, how they rejoiced that little Martha had entered into the kingdom of God. If there's one thing that I guess we all would like, it's be able to live a life without regret. We're in a place where the remains of human remains, many people are laid. And oh, could we hear their voices. How many would regret during, that during their lifetime they did not yield to the call of the Spirit of God. I'll guarantee you, if I could do such a thing, that in all, among all these people, the bodies of whom are here, there's not a single one they could speak to you who would tell you that they ever regretted receiving the Holy Ghost. Because if that Spirit of God dwells in our bodies, Paul said in Romans the 8th chapter, that Spirit of God is going to lift us up out of these graves when Christ returns and we'll be caught up to meet Him in the air. It's 
So you see, being baptized with the Holy Ghost is not something you'll ever have to regret doing. God doesn't do things wrong. And Jesus said, if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, shall not your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? Our life is so short in this world. It's, it's thin and weak, like that plate of ice, like that plate of ice out here on the lake. So easily broken, and it's gone. I've come out here several times to sit by the grave or just walk out here and think about my mother. One day shy of 58 years on the earth. And of all that she ever may have done wrong or ever may have done right, the best thing about her life was her relationship with God. I want to take you back now. I want to take you back with me, back down to the home place. I want to show you the cabin that my grandfather built and then the other house that he built shortly after that. I want to show you the little lane recently paved that takes us down to the houses and up on top of the hill, the house where the saints were gathered that Sunday afternoon when my mother, Martha M. Clark, received the Pentecost experience. Come on. They all turned out to see them shout with the bayonet. 